guys, it's me, Zeland, here today in between innings to talk about my very own NFL team, the Los Angeles Rams. So sorry, I know my head looks kind of weird because I am halfway out of the frame, and this is not my room, this is a family member's room. I did a couple of recordings in here, but because I have to be so close to the camera, unless I lean backwards, I'm not fully in the frame, and my computer is up here, so... I still have to lean forward anyway, actually. That's a solution. Uh, so I'm going to go over the schedule, the raw, uh, the stats, that's it, and my prediction for our final record. So actually, I'm going to start with my prediction for the final record. So we are 7-4 and four right now, second in the NFC West behind the Arizona Cardinals. We play the Jacksonville Jaguars tomorrow. I'm recording this on Sunday, Saturday, and you should see this on Saturday. But we're playing Jack the Jacksonville Jaguars, the Arizona Cardinals, the Seattle Seahawks, Minnesota Vikings, the Baltimore Ravens. Then we end this season off with the 49ers. I say we beat Jacksonville. We... I'll just say we beat Arizona. That's a toss-up, but I say we win. Then beat Seattle, beat Minnesota, beat Baltimore, lose to the 49ers. So that's win, 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 five wins, 12 and five. I think we go 12 and five. I think that's a respectable prediction. Play in the wild card game, win, beat whoever we play in the divisional. And then I think we're going to at least make it to the conference game, if not the Super Bowl, but I honestly see the Cardinals going to the Super Bowl. But we do have a chance, but I would just say right now my highest expectation is the conference championship. So now I'll go over the schedule so far. So we started off the season against the Chicago Bears. We won 34-14. to Then we beat the Colts 27-24. Then we beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the reigning Super Bowl champions, 34-24. We beat them two years in a row. We beat them last year off a Tom Brady interception at the end of the game on a drive that if they scored, they won the game. I think we were winning 27-24. And easy interception. We picked it off. It was like the dude's second interception on Brady in the game. Uh, then we lost to the Seahawks, our first loss of the season until then. So then we were we lost at 37-20. So 3-1. Then we won four straight games against Seattle, New York, Giants, the Detroit Lions, and the Houston Texans. Well, I wasn't surprised. I was telling everyone I knew we were going to win those four games, and then we went right back to hard games. We won all of those. First, Seattle 26-17 against the Giants 38-11 against the Lions 28-19 and the Houston Texans 38-22. But until then... To this day, we have lost three straight games against the Tennessee Titans, 28-16, lost to the 49ers, 31-10, and lost to the Green Bay Packers last week, 36-28, so we are 7-4. and four. Definitely think we should have put up more of a fight against Tennessee. Matthew Stafford just had a lot of mistakes, lots of interceptions, a lot of drop passes, many missed opportunities. And then really quick, going to go over the stats. So, Matthew Stafford has a 66.5 completion rate, a 105.2 QB rating, so pretty good. 3,316 yards, so doing pretty good. Sorry if you heard that's uh, my mom texted me on my computer. He has 27 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. And then our leading rusher is Daryl Henderson. He has 142 attempts, 648 yards, 5 touchdowns. Sony Michelle also has a touchdown, 305 yards. We got him, we acquired him from the New England Patriots earlier in the season. Super disappointing that Cam Akers was out this season. One of my favorite players, even in his rookie season, I was, everyone, all of Rams fans were bragging how he was going to be one of the like, top 10 running backs in the league this year in his sophomore season, but he, I think, tore his ACL in practice before the season started. Hope he comes back next year. They're even saying he could be, come back for the postseason, which would be exciting. Really like watching him play. And I think we would be doing better. Won one of those games we lost if we had him. I don't really trust Daryl Henderson. And then receiving, 
Cooper Cup has 1,237 yards and 10 touchdowns, 92 receptions for 126 targets. Pretty sure he still leads the league in yards and in touchdowns or tied. I don't know. Van Jefferson, uh, 33 receptions for 62 targets, 580 yards, four touchdowns. Those a lot of those uh, plays are really big though. Yeah, he has nine big plays and against the Packers game he got two really long ones. And then Robert Woods, he got injured like three weeks ago and he's out for the season, but he was doing really good until then. He has 556 yards, four touchdowns. Hope he is healthy when he comes back next season. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Peace.